So, Paul, we're hearing households are being asked to, you know, to turn off appliances if you can to, to preserve and conserve power. What's the situation? Yeah, that is the message from the Australian energy market operator AEMO. Last night they issued what's known as a lack of reserve notice, which is a fancy way of saying demand is outstripping supply. So, yeah, the call went out to industrial and commercial users as well to limit their electricity use. Uh, there were some blackouts in Sydney's northern suburbs overnight, but it's unclear whether that was to do with supply shortage or, or a local supply issue. But there's a combination of factors here at play. First off, it's been very, very cold, unseasonably cold for so early in the winter. There's a number of power stations offline for maintenance and also longer term, there's been a failure to build enough renewable supply that can actually be connected to Australia's grid. And Paul, Australia, of course, is one of the world's largest exporters of natural gas. So how likely is it that the government could order more gas to stay on shore? Yeah, this has become part of the conversation, and Australia produces a huge amount of gas, so three times more than it could consume domestically, but of course almost all of that uh, gets exported. But there is a thing known as the gas trigger, which is more formally known as the Australian Domestic Gas Security System. Now, this would force gas producers to keep more supply onshore here in Australia. Uh, the Resources Minister can pull that trigger, but it's not a quick fix. It wouldn't come into effect until January the 1st, by which time, of course, Winter's long since gone, would be in the height of summer by then. A lot of Australia's gas has already been sold on longer term contracts, and pulling the trigger uh, would also harm Australia's reputation as a reliable supplier. So the Australian government is holding a review into this gas trigger to uh, see if some of those shortcomings can be addressed.